well, <clears throat> we are back. And there's a special feeling in the studio tonight, and that can mean only one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a great humanitarian, a great gambler, and my personal friend for over 84 years, Bill Nye, yeah. the science guy. Yeah. Bill, as I look around the studio tonight, I see bricks, tubes, apparatus of all sorts. What's the theme tonight? Tonight, John, <clears throat> work. work, energy, mechanical advantage. That's okay. That's a mechanical advantage. Is that what that means? All right. Certainly, it's uh, one interpretation. Okay. Yeah. Now, John, let's start advantage. over here with a classic example, a classic demonstration of mechanical advantage. This will be the rope. Now, uh, go ahead and uh -huh. try to heft those two. Awesome patio bricks. Well, in my Quite weakened heavy. in my weakened condition, it's John very difficult. John's been somewhat ill. Um, right. There you go. That's it's heavy. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Now uh, yank that, uh, and you see that will be yeah, zero. Yeah. That white thing will be zero. Pull it right, gently. Right. There, that's okay. zero. Yeah. Now pull it up. Here comes another white thing. That's one. Okay. That's two. That's three. Three white things, which will be three lengths of rope. That corresponds to one uh, separation of these white marks. So, in okay. other words, John, you exerted a third as much force. Over three times the distance of rope, and that might, gave it might you. Have been a, might have been a half in my case, though. Oh no, John, I'm confident it's physics. All right, all right. So, okay. John, that gave you <laughs> mechanical advantage. Go ahead and let that. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> so, this distance here between the two uh, ropes, you see, is the same as this mark here. Well, you have to take my word for it. We're all right. certainly running out of time. There you go, right there. You see? All right, mechanical yeah. advantage. That's great. Now, That's John, great, Bill. If you would blow into this tube, have you blown into this? Tube? Maybe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now watch. As you blow into it, a balloon under this piece of plastic will lift these two patio bricks through the power of your breath. <laughs> you have raised two patio the bricks. The power of my breath. <laughs> What's going on there, John? Once again, yeah. you have pressure, very small pressure from your awesome, powerful lungs, even a man like you, perhaps yeah. one and a half PSI at the most. One and a half Very PSI. small pressure, but spread out over a large area. You see, you get a lot of force. You, you have mechan that. mechanical yeah, 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 advantage. Yeah, yeah. Mechanical yeah. advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Now, go I ahead, John. You, you're going to say No, something. no, no. Let's just move on. Well, let's John, let's see, yeah. now what I'm going to do, you may not believe this, I will use the principles of mechanical advantage yeah. and hydraulics to shatter. Oh, it's rather to break. These two patio well, blocks. Is it shatter or break? It's break. Okay, break. Now, John, I want to show the studio audience that these two bricks are very, very strong indeed. And, and, and in order to show that, I'm going to bring out perhaps the master of strength. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Billy Quinn. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't like this guy. Just be cool, John. I don't like this guy. Be Something cool. bad be always careful. Happens. Okay, so he... So they are strong, huh? Okay. Hey, hey, Billy. <laughs> John, be cool. Be cool. Okay. All right, let's John, we've gotten to the point of the demonstration at last, when it's time oh, for the safety glass. Oh, I can't glass. wait. The safety glass. Now, John, we have here a very large plastic cylinder. Uh -huh. It is the plastic cylinder of science, which becomes the hydraulic. Oh, well, let me help you. No, yeah, would you steady yeah, it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The hydraulic. I don't have Cylinder gloves, of though. science. Now, yeah. John, if you look at this, ah, hey. uh, it's just a little shrapnel, a little brick shrapnel. Oh, yeah, a little shrapnel never hurt anybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Carefully mounted. Yeah. Now, John, this yeah. very large piston area shown here yes. will develop a very large force given a very small pressure. Now, that okay. small pressure will come from this bucket of water, and it is connected, it communicates with this hydraulic cylinder through this hose. And I will add some red food coloring. Okay. As much as I can physically squeeze into this son of a gun. Oh, that's really nasty. Yeah, well, it'll be all right. Now, that food it's coloring, really you see, you'll watch it go in. Now, John, what yeah. I'm going to do is take this plastic ice cream bucket of science uh -huh. to the top of this eight-foot ladder the Ladder of, of science. science. All right. We've got the hose it's an ocean. of science. It's an ocean. Ladder of science. Now, John, John, everyone, please regarde oh, boy. the bricks. You see, they are rising. The bricks are Red rising. The water is coming Whoa. into the cylinder. The bricks are rising. They are bottoming out. Okay. They are touching the two black tiles of these science. To protect yes, the, uh, let's do that. We'll protect it with these foam things. Now, people, don't take your eyes off the bricks. It could happen at any moment. 
truth. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. Nah, I don't think it's gonna happen.